All right, folks, here we are um, in episode 23 of our career campaign playthrough of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries, all of the available downloadable content. Uh, we're on Sarna Part 1, and we are here in our mission thing here. Um, final approach to Sarna, and I'm still getting nothing from Davian Command's channel. I'm also picking up a large amount of space debris in shallow orbit right outside Sarna's exosphere. It looks like the debris of a number of destroyed dropships or satellites, but they are too small to make out any discernible origin. Wait a minute. Commander, I'm just beginning to get a read on the 5th Sirtis Fusilier's encoded channel. It's incredibly faint, and they appear to be sending an SOS. The message is only a single set of coordinates accompanied by a single repeating text transmission. Mayday, mayday, mayday. This is the 5th Sirtis Fusiliers calling for assistance from any forces loyal to the Federated Sons. We are in need of assistance at the following coordinates. No Hollywood, no audio, and no declaration of any kind of identification. And the signal on this is so faint that I can't even get a read on anything beyond the text transmission and the coordinates. I don't like this, Commander. I don't like this one bit. Unfortunately, these coordinates are the only lead we have at finding the Fusiliers, and we need these code books and their help, or everything will be lost. If this signal is legitimate, we'll need to assist the Fusiliers and make contact with General Hearthstone or Colonel Harkness if we are going to have any hope of completing our mission. Here we go. Let's go. The damage coverage. Lots of salvage. 275 of 290. Let's see what we got here. Why does it keep doing that? Alright. Well, the archer can go. For sure. The thunderbolt can go for sure. The orion can go for sure. go uh where's that archer i'm a pilot that archer i'm a pilot the heck out of that archer where <laughs> where is it there we go archer uh crusader oh uh, ryan What's in that thing? SRMs and AC-20s and junk? Okay, sure, why not? He's awful at that, so let's put him in that. Where is it? And then we give him... Oh, we don't have a lot of tonnage left here. Wait a minute. We're going to have to rethink this. Uh, there. Alright, so let's see. Oh no, that's only 280 of 290, so we're okay. We're alright. It's good. It's good. It's all good. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. If we can online. help the good guys here. The communications disarray caused by the Comstar HPG relay station's destruction has allowed us to land on Sorna undetected. But I'm still not getting any responses on the Federated Sun's wide band. The only thing we're detecting is a faint SOS signal from the 5th Sirtis Fusilier. I've marked its approximate location on your HUD. If there are any Federation forces out there, we need to make contact with them here. here. If we are to have any hope of surviving this here. into Kaplan right. territory. But be on your guard, Commander. This SOS signal could be a trap. Just crank along here, down this right-hand side. Get out of my way, stupid tree. On your trail, Commander. Are you though? 
Better stay there. Right up. Want some water. So then I could cool. Yeah, and I could just keep firing, man. 1700 missiles. Okay, this appears to be water. Inferno gel burns into my cockpit and burns me alive. Captain Alana Damu, 5th Service Fusiliers, 1st Battalion. And as much as I would love to know why you're here, that is going to have to wait. We've got bigger problems at the moment. We're waiting on our salvage teams to strip this gazelle for any surviving provisions. We're not going to make it much longer if we can't salvage as much of its supplies as we can. Liao forces converging on our position. They must have tracked your approach here. Lancers, my men are exhausted and stretched to the brink. I cannot afford to lose any more of them. Help us fight through this with minimal losses, and I'll see what I can do about helping you with your special assignment. We're on this, Captain. Ready up. Battlemech spotted. Target of one. Enemy units are in range. Fire on all available targets. Any 
jump ships as a sign of jump point. We've tried multiple times, but the Confederation has seemed to blanket the entire system in some sort of thick electromagnetic field that's completely scrambling anything that isn't short-range communications on planet. That would explain why we weren't reading anything on the wideband on our burn into the system. That wasn't so bad. Shoot you out of the sky if they think you're assisting us. Whether you like it or not, you're stuck in the trenches with us till this is all over. All right. Lots of lots of salvage. 21 mechs, that's a lot. Well, 21 units. There were some Igors and helicopters. I think I took too much of a beating. 27, I could have a victor. I just had to poopy knocked out of it, so we're not doing that one. Uh, catapult, looks like it's been engined. Uh, Warhammer? It's <laughs> nothing but a torso. Alright, hey, look at this. We got an EW active probe. Take this PPC. Take these medium lasers. Here, take some lerm ammo and SRM ammo. I've already got five Centurion salvage. Let's go ahead and take some of that. Lots of that. Here's Marauder salvage. We'll take that too. Why not? Probably build something out of that by now. Uh, Jaeger mech salvage, huh? Let's get rid of some of this Marauder salvage and start taking some Jaeger mech salvage. That's good. 
All right, we got everything. That's good. Thanks for watching our backs out there, Commander. Ever since McCarran's killed a majority of the Fusiliers on the Grey River, we've been in bad shape. Lots of survivors that we've found had severe injuries or infections after weeks of surviving off of Sarna's jungle. But we've recovered a handful of mech warriors who are still fit for service after having their mechs blasted out from under them by the armored cavalry. If you don't mind taking on the extra personnel, I'll sign them over to you to use as you see fit. They're good warriors, but I just don't have enough equipment to keep them in this fight. When you're ready... Well, okay, I guess we're moving on. Alright. First things first. We have to repair. Alright, it's all getting repaired now. Now, let's look at let's to see if, what, what, if anything, we can assemble. We can assemble a Centurion. We're one short of a Marauder. That's really annoying. <laughs> oh well, what are you going to do? I don't even think we need the Centurion. Maybe we could put it together. Maybe sell it for parts. If it ain't good. There's details. Uh, let's go to load out. What do you got, Mr. Centurion? Huh. What do we have for missile weapons? We have some pretty good. We have a pretty good Lerm 15. medium lasers? We got some really good medium, medium lasers. How about a pair of Lerm 15s in that? We have Lerm 15 streams. Let's do this Lerm 15 stream. And we've got medium lasers. We could probably... What's the... Uh, hmm... PPC is three small laser, small laser. These are all small lasers. You know what? We're gonna put some really good medium lasers in this thing. And we're gonna get rid of this. those in there. Why the hell not? Heat sinks in your feet. We got another missile weapon that we could put in there. Uh, what the hell, man? Let's go for it. Let's really go for it. Lean into the learn boatiness on this thing. Um... How much ammo do we have? Not a lot. Where is it? Filter ammo right there. Put some more in there. Alright, heat. at all. We don't need that. Trim them down. Trim these down to 10. All right, now we can build up this inner torso. And so and 
a left torso. Alright. And the legs. Fifty of fifty. That's not too bad. Yeah, it's fine. It's gotta it's gotta be what it's gotta be. Where's my buccaneer? There it is. Alright. Alright, there we are. Hazing of the week. Yeah, we'll do that later. It's not right now. Mission. Commander, I reviewed your message from Marshal Davian, and I understand the urgency of your mission, but to be completely honest, Fusiliers are in no shape to help you. Most of our unit died when McCarran's armored cavalry ambushed us. We barely kept ourselves alive this past month by salvaging the remains as we find them. We aren't in any shape to help out in a straight-up fight, let alone track down an enemy spy network on a hostile world. But not everything is hopeless. You see, we still believe there may be at least one other pocket of Fusiliers out there. The ones that are said to have attacked Comstar's HPG. We've been hoping that they would respond to our SOS, but with all this damn long-range comms jamming, it's next to impossible to get a signal out. I'm actually amazed that you were able to pick it up, probably because your dropship communications gear is much more powerful than your average mechs. That actually gives me an idea. If I can give you the transponder codes our mechs and vehicles use in the field, you should be able to track down those responsible for the HPG attack by using the sensors on your Leopard. I don't know what got in their heads to be dumb enough to attack one of Comstar's HPGs, but if, they, but if they're still alive, we all stand a much better chance of surviving this if we all work together. Safety and numbers and all that. If you help us out here, I promise that we'll do our best to support you in completing your mission. I wouldn't worry about those codebooks going anywhere. With the system's HPG down and all the commercial dropships grounded, they wouldn't be able to get those codes off world even if they wanted to. What are we doing? This is odd. Your scanners are showing that the Fusilier remnants that attacked Comstar's HPJ are still hiding amongst the ruins of the facility. I didn't want to believe that they would do something as moronic as attack an HPG facility. But even if they did, we'll need to join forces to survive out here. Maybe with their help we can stand a chance against McCarran's armored cavalry. Here we go. We can go a little heavier. Let's see. I really like this archer though. I don't want it to go away. So I want to kind of hold it. So he's going to stay. What size is it? 75, 65. We can go heavier here. Let's see. What do we got? Another 65 tonner. An 80 tonner. A 70 tonner. Mm. What's in the Victor anyway? Oh, it's got double heat sinks. I'm not giving that to a... <laughs> I'm just not giving that to a pilot that's not a good pilot. Alright, so that guy, maybe he's staying in that thing. Alright, that's 65 and that's 70. I mean... Orion can become Battlemaster. Crusader can become Rifleman. Alright, is this all lasers? Yeah, let's switch these up. He can do Battlemaster. And then we do do something with the Fract. So let's see what the Fract can be. Thunderbolt. I'm gonna F up my Thunderbolt, bro. Still 15 tons down. You know what? Can we do that? Yeah, we can do it. Alright, so we got two assaults on this thing. And I'm not in either one of them. Let's see what happens. I mean, what are you gonna do? Alright. Well, 
bunch of things are refit and ready to go now, so we should be good. We should be real good. Primary, eliminate all enemy mechs. Reactor online. Okay. Online. Suppose we can do that. Maybe we can do. We're coming up on the ruins of the HPG relay station. I've marked the map with the last known location of the Fusilier's transponders being sent. After they all went rogue. Be sure to be on your guard and watch your backs. McCarran's armored cavalry is still breathing down our necks looking to finish us off for good. Let's go find our answers. for bouncing helicopters, gentlemen. Her. She's testy. Let these guys come to us. Now these guys gotta go get themselves dumbasses killed over here.
you have there. The Confederation's ambassador to New Certus kidnapped our Duke and took him to Sion, where Max Liao executed him in cold blood. Duke Hasek Davion was a patriot to the entire Federated Sons and died at the hands of a madman. want to be those guys. She's not in a very friendly mood, gentlemen. I'd answer her. Alright, 21. Don't get any of the chargers, because reasons. That's a nice burst fire and a couple of nice PPCs, let's take them. A uh, couple of nice SRM6 streams. Let's take them. Nice medium laser. Nice ish. Nice ish medium laser. Anyway, I don't want any of that garbage. Guy in heat sinks. Lots of single heat sinks. We'll take one. Alright. There we go. Victor is not good, man. I mean, that's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Alright, so those things are all going to be repaired. That Centurion's doing its thing. We're going to put the Victor in cold storage because we can't use it. We got a Zeus that we can't do anything with. I don't even know what to do with that thing. How is this onion belt? SRMs? Yeah, it's SRM4s. 
and it's a it's a brawler build. Okay, well it is what it is. All right, mission time. Sorry for the motions getting the best of me out there, but whoever's but whoever that smug son of a bitch on the comms was, he definitely knew all the right buttons to press to piss me off. My mood's greatly improved after being told we were able to pry him out of his mech alive. We got lucky and he fell unconscious during the battle. We weren't so lucky with his coast conspirators, though. Many of them killed themselves before they could be taken into custody. We got a handful of them, but not as many as I would have liked. Whoever they are, they definitely have top grade intelligence training. They could be Mescaroka or Death Commandos, but honestly, there's some huge holes in that theory. They wanted to trap us here and attack the HPG to frame House Davian in the eyes of Comstar. While the broad strokes make sense, other major details don't. They never once called for McCarrens to reinforce them, they have no forms of ID, and they don't act like any Capellan I've ever seen. And most of all, they know things. Things that no Capellan intelligence officer would ever divulge to us. If I'm being honest, a whole lot of them gives me the creeps. We put all the survivors under enhanced interrogation and came up with zero answers as to who they are or why they destroyed the HPG. Well, plenty of seemingly random bits of information regarding the Yorinaga Curita, a, li a Liao counteroffensive, plans for a raid against the New Avalon NAIS campus, and other things that were clearly way too implausible to be true. Among the random bits of information they did divulge was the location of all Mascarovka facilities on Sarna and the confirmation that they did receive a priority message from Tigris months ago. They claim it's been buried in a sea of thousands of other reports that began flooding into their offices since the fall of Tikhanov. These must be your lost code books, Commander. If it's true, then the Maskarovka do have it, but they don't yet know the value of the content they possess. Although we didn't find any additional Fusilier survivors, a deal's a deal, Commander. I'll spare what I can assist to you in a raid against the identified Maskarovka headquarters. It wouldn't be much, but with this new intel, it should hopefully be enough to get your job done. Okay, damage. Alright. Uh, 215 of 300. Well, this guy... This guy's injured. First of all, Captain Espinosa's injured, so we gotta select the pilot. Uh, boy, that's one of my better ones, too. Goblin's already in a bay. Captain Gore. Lieutenant Waller. We've got a 47, 43, I think 47 wins. Miastro Stab John. Oh boy, that's confidence building. Alright, so we're going to get rid of this thing. And Battlemaster did seem to do its job, I guess. I don't know. Um, Cataphract. We like the way that runs. And, uh... This thing here? Let's do the PPC. There we go. 300 to 300. There's a nice, nice heavy-ish doing my thing here. Alright. See what we can do. Right, Commander. We were able to learn the location of Sarna's Meskarovka headquarters and support facilities around the capital city of Sarna from our captured imposters. If your stolen codebooks were delivered anywhere, it would have been in any of the marked facilities for decoding. With the HPG system down, it's fairly safe to assume the codebooks would not have been able to make it off planet even if they were decoded. So if you can destroy them here, it's unlikely Leah will be able to retrieve them again. We are deep in enemy territory here, so I can only support you with a small team of commandos. They will tail you and verify the destruction of the codebooks once you destroy the marked buildings. This is your mission, and I need to tend to the Fusiliers and plan our next move. So I'll leave the rest of this up to you and Rihanna. Best of luck. And to you, Captain Danu. I've got nothing to add to that, Commander. So let's get the job done. Enemy destroyed.
awesome. Roko, focusing fire. Well, that should have been effective, I guess. Let's see if it is. Lots of money. Damage coverage, damage payout, just enough. Nicely done. We got some guys chewed up though. Oh, 23. That's a shame. Alright, let's see what we got. First, let's go all the way down here. Get these two double heat sinks. Or get these two single heat sinks. Now let's start getting the grasshopper. We might be able to use a heavy. Uh, grasshopper. 
grasshopper. More grasshopper. Is that it for the grasshopper salvage? Yeah, we got ten more bits of stuff. Alright, well... What else do we have? Do we have any of these other ones here? Oh, I guess not. Um, well, take top value. We got jump jets that we could sell. I can always use more medium lasers, I guess. There we go. Ugh, the Battlemaster lost its arms, but they didn't really need them. It's fine. Ugh. Let's go ahead and repair all again. Get them going. Uh, something said cannot be repaired. I'll let that finish up. Did we got plenty of other mechs? We should be fine. Um, mission. Congratulations on completing your mission, Commander. My command just reported that the second the Maskarovka saw infantry investigating their destroyed sites, they initiated protocols to destroy everything rather than see Confederation secrets fall into our hands. We were able to capture a handful of random data drives for a good measure, but I doubt there's anything of immediate value to us. Although your mission for Marshal Davian is now complete, I'm afraid you're still trapped on Sarna, just like the rest of us. The Lao forces maintain air superiority and will destroy your dropship if you attempt to leave the system, just as they destroyed all of ours. But not all hope is lost. We just captured a scouting patrol from the local militia, and we're able to tap into McCarran's comm system. While we know they will change the transmission codes the second they realize one of their patrols are missing, we've learned that McCarran is squarely focused on destroying the remnants of the Crater Cobras and Screaming Eagles, the Sirtis Fusiliers Mercenary Support Battalions for the Sarna campaign. They're still alive and have been causing the Big Mac nothing but problems for months now. We've used your Leopard sensors to pinpoint their position through their assignment, assigned transponder codes, and we've verified they are still alive and moving, although they are far too far for us to make radio contact through all this jamming. This is the best news we've received since you all arrived to help us. Commander will need you to make initial contact with them. At the moment, their reported location is too far away from any of our fusiliers to make without abandoning our wounded and prisoners. I'll prep everyone for transport and begin to slowly migrate our surviving personnel to their general direction. Your forces can fly ahead in your dropship and make initial contact with their forces and plan a rendezvous point for us. The, mer the mercenaries have been moving their forces repeatedly, trying to stay one step ahead of McCarran's armored cavalry. Judging by their movements, it appears they are migrating towards the ruins of a derelict warship located deep in northern Jakarlos. This will be the most ideal spot for you to make contact. This might be the last time we see each other, Commander, so before you go, I just want to say thank you for everything. You've given all the remaining Fusiliers hope that we'll make it out of this. Alright, so we gotta go rendezvous, it looks like. Three hundred to three ten. We can get bigger. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the battle master because he can't complete us. He can't be completed. So um, there should be a warhammer ready to go. Right there, he's a little bit lighter than the other one. Not as hot as the other one. So that'll be good. Now we can get bigger, even bigger though. This is what, 70? This mech is so effective though, I don't want to lose it. 70, 75, what do we have left in the tank? So this, these are the two smallest mechs, so what do we have that we can replace? Nothing really. We don't really have heavier mechs. This is what we go with. Alright. Wait 44 days. Yeah, wait 44 days. And our 
pilot recovered, so that's good. <clears throat> All right, this is probably going to be the last match of the day. The ruins of the derelict warship are straight ahead, Commander. The crater Corbras and the Screaming Eagles have taken refuge in its interior. If we want to have any chance of getting out of this mess alive, we're going to need their help. Let's hope they aren't in as dire straits as we are. I mean, we ain't too bad. This is a really cool mission, though. I remember this one. This warship is neat. see one of the ancient warships. These things used to be at the top of the food chain when it came to the supreme military power of the Star League. Massive spacecraft that acted as jump ships, armed to the teeth with naval weapons and assault dropships. <coughs> and were often used to rend death across entire systems with nuclear fire and chemical strikes. Untold billions died at the hands of these monsters. It's not surprising that they were the first things to be targeted and destroyed in the early succession wars. Federated Sons IFF. You out there, identify yourselves. We are an independent detachment of the Second Crucis Lancers on special assignment. We're here to help. Rihanna Campbell? Is that you? I thought you were with that Merc outfit from the Galahad War Games. What are you doing broadcasting Davian military IFFs? That's a long story for another time. For now, we're hoping to help each other out of this mess. That's highly optimistic of you. We dug into this position to defend ourselves from an incoming advance from the 3rd McCarran's Armored Cavalry. They've been probing our defenses for the past week after we repelled an all-out assault from them at Graves Hallow. If you want to help, join us, and let's push these bastards back. Keep us in good enough shape, and we might just live to see tomorrow. Colonel Westrick, enemy scouts across the outer perimeter. They're here. Well, okay then. Let's get to work. Rihanna, Commander, we'll appreciate the assist here. Keep our mercs in fighting shape. We won't be any good to you dead. Target of wire. New target locked. We have your target, Commander.
We're MWO, I think. They deserve target. it. Target acquired. Target acquired. Target
Thanks, Commander. But without us being able to transmit off-system, I'm very skeptical about our overall chances at survival. A very strong ECM field is preventing us from contacting anyone at the system's jump point. We have a long shot plan to try to get a message off-world. With your help, we might just be able to do it. Come by our command center and I'll share the details with you. That was a relatively clean mission. It took a pound of Get us another archer, though. Uh, yeah, we're taking the other archer. Seven bits of additional salvage. Yes, we're taking. Uh, we got some ammo for LRM. Take two of them if we got them. LRM ammo. I'll take the SRM ammo too. Though. Yet. That's good. All right. Pretty good. It's like nobody lost limbs. That's that's excellent. Commander, it's great to see you again. I only wish we were meeting under better circumstances. You have my thanks for keeping us in good enough shape to see tomorrow. While I can't spare too much equipment, I do have a mech warrior that's been disposed of their mech in the recent fighting. If you have a mech for them, they'll serve you well. I'll send them over to your dropship. Let's catch up over a drink in my tent. I'm curious to know why the hell you're even on this rock. Okay, good. Thanks for adding to my payroll. Okay, well, now these guys get repaired. Two million sea bills later. Uh, work orders. Archer 2R. Let's kill that for now. And let's take a look at it. What's wrong with it? I probably murdered its engine core. I sure did. Okay. It's a 280. I have a 3. I have a 250. And if I... How fast is this thing going? 57? Okay, that'll have to do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna put some... armor on this thing. It's all armored up. That's good. Then we could, uh... We have some heat sinks we could put in there. In the legs. That's for darn sure. Then we could armor up the It goes a little slower. It's got plenty of ammo. It should cool off pretty well. Let me get painted. A nice shade of buccaneer. All right. Well, kiddies, I think that's going to be it for today. I thank you for watching, if you've watched up to this point. I do hope that you enjoy this content or the MechWarrior Online content. And if it is MechWarrior Online and you are a player, I do hope to see you out there on the battlefield. Thanks, and have a good rest of your weekend.